Champions Cup launch. Tommy, uh, excitement in the air, new European season? Yeah, massively. It's good. it's, it's uh, that we're into the Premiership at the moment, and um, it was about you know today is the sort of getting the old tingle come back again of the European rugby. It's um, a great day. You know, you get, you get a lot of press over it and uh, talk about it all and get the excitement of Ulster, Ulster away first game. Talk about Ulster, Scarlets, and obviously Racing as well. Three tough opponents this year. How do you rate the pool? That's a tough pool. Uh, you know, it's never going to be easy in Europe. You have to go to plenty of places and tough places and play play rugby. And uh, you know, to win to win Europe, you have to experience those uh, tough arenas. And we've got plenty in our pool. Is it a nice little, almost a fresh start after a bit of a roller coaster start to the Premiership season? Yeah, massively. Look, you block the Premiership off, and then you're into Europe. You know, it's a different kind of week. Um, I, you know, talking to Geordie, he's gonna he's gonna switch things around a little bit to make sure it has a different feel to it, which I think is important, so that it doesn't just become game after game after game, and we sort of take a different approach in, in European rugby. And you know, we go to Ulster that first game, and and uh, we have a good crack at it and see where we end up. Talk about Geordie, he's a European Cup winner. He is indeed. Uh, yeah. How does that put us in in good stead, having a, him in the top job there? Well, he knows how to win it. He's also captain of the team to a few finals in it. Um, so, you know, he's got experience in this tournament. Um, and he's, he's that's why he's going to look to change the week up, really, because he's got that experience of making sure it is a, a, a very magical sort of uh, approach to it. A few guys coming back from injury, and obviously the boys coming back from Wallabies as well. That's yes. a nice addition to the squad for Europe. Yeah, it's nice to have them back, isn't it? You know, they've been uh, swanning away in Australia. Uh, you know, uh, no, it'd be good to have those boys back. Um, I think, you know, it always, you know, they're world-class players to strengthen the team up. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to welcoming them back and uh, and getting stuck in Dolster. Finally, St James Park, a bit of a different venue. For Very this different, year's yeah. Final. How much would you like to be a part of the final? Oh, it's a hell of a place, you know. It's the first time I've ever been up, up, not up to Newcastle, but here. Yeah. It's a hell of a stadium. The grass is unbelievable. Groundsmen didn't like it particularly when we went on the grounds, on the ground, on the grass out there, and did the photographs out there. But yeah, what a pitch, uh, what a service, and what a sound of things. They sold a lot of tickets already, 30,000 30, plus. Um, so you know, it's going to build to a to a great, uh, you know, great day here in that in that final.